this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay. Once I get my camera on. Let me... Okay. I need to zoom in on this. I'm going to work on the lips. Uh, okay. I don't need to see the forehead. Because we're not working on the forehead. We're working on the lips. And I have a picture of a zoomed in perfect um, image. No, not perfect, but I have... I'm downloading my... I'm ripping my Halloween Kills DVD onto my computer now with some cool software. And uh, then from there, I'll actually have some really great still shots for on my screen. Now, hopefully I'm not blocking your view. But we're going to work on the lips. And uh, the first thing I have to do is redraw the line a little bit. All right, so am I blocking this uh, camera? Oh, I hope not. There we go. All right, and I'll move this guy over just a little bit. Okay, so looking at it dead on, there's a little bit of a drop off on this on this corner. So I just want to draw out where I want to drop that. Actually, it looks like it has a little bit of a drop there. You know what? The best thing to do is start shaping the upper lip first. <clears throat> I Okay, let me update you everything that I've done. I now call him Pucker Puss. How do you like Pucker Puss? Um, <laughs> it's just kind of funny because he looks all puckered up here. But um, I literally shaved back this jawline really far back and I had to readjust all this region right in here even over into here i've actually did the carving and uh, you know the cutting of the uh, the lines from front you know when you smile you create these little lines right here that follow through along with your cheek line your cheek lines get your cheek lines and your whole face is, is all because of our smiling uh, all the muscle that's in here is responsible for all the, the cheek lines and the you know so anyway uh, anatomy is a pretty uh, wild thing so the first thing I have to do is pretty much I see how this has to come up what tool do I want to use all right, so right here in the center stays protruding. But here where the lip goes up and, and then kind of a little bit of a smile. Man, it's more like a smirk. <coughs> it's nothing I haven't done already. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I just need to pick out the right tool for the job here. Okay. So. I'm going to keep working at this. got to do a little at a time. You got to sneak this in because if you don't, I'm, I'm, I don't want to block your view. I 
worried about the lower lip right now. I'm only concentrating on the upper lip. this now our lips our lips naturally have a little divot right in here right right where you know it comes in same on the other side and that's what creates that little bit of a <coughs> a pocket. Hey, uh, so happy President's Day. Anyway, uh, or is it, or is that tomorrow? It might be tomorrow. I'm not sure what day it is. I don't normally celebrate that day, so for my own reasons, you don't need to get into that too much. We don't want to go politics, trust me. I'll lose more friends. <laughs> I don't know. I might gain more. <coughs> I'm going to turn this a little bit to the side so I can see what I'm doing here. This is time consuming. You're not going to see this develop like really quick. Um, because the biggest thing is I got to make sure this edge is right. The top, the top part. And then I can bring in the rest. It's a matter of shaping, smoothing. See, this will lose all this pucker look once I have the lips in place. Now what I'm doing now is now that I've got the top edge kind of where I want it. Now I'm digging into the lip area here, right where the seam is. I want that pretty deep because I have to do a lot of adjustments on the lower lip. The lower lip's probably not going to be too protruding. But I'm also going to create a little bit of a ridge here on the top of the lip. Still got to bulge out this area just a little bit. But I can't do anything until the upper lip is finished because that's the that's the furthest point. That's actually sticking out <coughs> in front of the lower lip at the furthest peak. Just a little bit, not by much, but just a little bit. And I just keep cutting into that that seam right in the middle, right, right, right where the where the lips separate. That's what I'm trying to dig into. And that also helps with um, shaping. Now the corners get a little bit of a treatment too, right on the corners of the mouth. I got to put a little piece of clay right there, just not not a large piece, a very small, subtle, subtle piece. To use the cutting edge, huh? <coughs> I think I got this light a little bit wrong. over a little bit, I got 
Too much shadow right there. Okay, come on. Don't fight me. Fight me, bite me. Okay, that's starting to look like something here. Okay, now the other side. And this is something for, I'm a right-handed guy. I want to just to let you know, uh, your left side is always going to be the most, is going to be the hardest part. Now, if I was left-handed, I'm sure the left side would be the easier, uh, the easiest to do. Now, what's really whacked in my situation is what I perfected this left side better than I did the right. You know, when I started doing this. So it's really weird. Um, and I don't know. I don't know the I don't know all the answers. I just know what I what I've been dealing with. Okay, so the next thing I gotta do. Now because I like working from right to left, I'm gonna start in the corner of the mouth this time and pull it back into the into the whatever this area is here. <coughs> That's what I'm going to do with this. Mm. I knew that first. First portion is not going to be the easy part. I gotta dig in here. I'm looking at the way this looks. I have a nice still shot of the um, the lips on the um, the flashback mask is what I'm using. Now, I still have to do some work in here. Right now, this is just generalized shaping. What makes it really come together is doing the lower lip. You don't really see the progress too much. And so that lower lip starts going in there. And you're working, like I said, you're you're peeling away crumbs of clay. You work with crumbs of clay. You're not that's why it takes so long to uh, really see results. Try not to leave too much of the clay laying on the top of the um, my, uh, bench because now what I'm going to do here is I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it this time because I want to get the generalized shaping right in here. I'm just pushing it in probably like a sixteenth of an inch, right where I want the seam to be, but not real deep because I'm not trying to create a... Now 
Now what I'm doing is I'm kind of following the shape of the of the, the little thing here that dips down just a little bit and then there's a little bit of a lump on both sides of that. That's sixteenth of an inch that I'm pushing this in is all going to disappear once I start working on the lower lip and then there's Yeah, this is really already, it's already starting to take shape. It looks good. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. Now that that's in place, let me grab the tool that I was working with. And I have to start. I still want to pull some of this. That's looking nice. That's looking right. Get out of there. This looks a little not in V-shape enough. So what I need to do Yeah, that looks a little better. Yep, you're seeing it live. You're seeing you're seeing how this is sculpted, how you do lips. You know, if you're trying to really make the Captain Kirk lips, because that's what this is. This is more like the Captain Kirk lips. I don't know that anybody's actually showing that process. Um, but I'm gonna. How's that? Because I'm learning it on my own. I haven't gone to school for anything yet. Yet, and uh, I found out I can share what I pay for when I, if I want to. So I will be sharing the knowledge as I learn. Hmm. All right, so. Thing I want to do now is I'm going to dig down a little bit for the lip in here, right in the center. Because I want to get in there. I hope the lighting isn't so bad where you can't see what I'm doing here. I still have some building out to do just on the lips here a little bit. A little bit of a bulge in this area. <coughs> but not that big of a deal. think there's a lot of work in doing the lips? Really isn't. It's 
not that hard to do. I'm trying to make sure that I have enough cut, cut away. Give the, the lips the right proportion size wise. Man, it's the subtleties that really determine how your sculpture looks. It's not the you know the dominant features actually easier I don't know they're easier for me it's the small things that you overlook it's the shape it, I think the shape is the hardest part getting the shape proportioned right <coughs> is definitely a difficult task now why do I not okay see these edges are too sharp so what I want to do I'm going to use the bigger loop here on the ends dig into this area just a little bit deeper and then I'm going to round out these edges just a little bit we don't want them looking too uh, Razor, razor sharp because that's not how our faces are. Everything's got to be smoothed out. And that's what was giving me a little bit of a problem as far as shaping the lip down here. I had this too sharp. <clears throat> now, with this loop, I can really kind of get in here. See what that did? It really put an indentation there. I gotta do the same thing on this side. It's always more difficult to do this on the left side if you're right handed. Unless, no. Well, I can turn this and make it a little easier for myself. I messed up the lower lip just a little bit, but nothing no big deal. I gotta worry about this upper lip being right. <coughs> Always clean your blade. Smaller hoop. This is a hoop that's just a perfect circle. 
And I'm going to dig in this right here. Just a little bit. I'll probably be adding a little bit of clay right in here like I normally do right where the crut right where the the dents are in the upper lip is where the bulge is where the little top you know so hopefully you guys can hear me talking hopefully I'm loud enough I'm kind of talking nice and soft I <laughs> had a very, very, very busy night last night, and uh, I'm just trying to chill and relax, and this is an, an, an easy day for me, you know what I mean? This is... But you're starting to see how this comes together. <coughs> Hopefully you guys can see that real good. It's not real hard. It's not. It's not. It's not the easiest thing to do. You know, it just depends on your talent level. It, it always comes down to talent. It's like that band I watched last night. All right, at my job. Um, these guys, raw talent. Why I say that is, I think they were all 21 and younger <clears throat> and the sound that was coming off that stage I mean absolutely you you would have thought that these guys if you had closed your eyes and I did do that just to, to check I closed my eyes look on my Facebook <coughs> I posted some videos of the band last night <coughs> these guys were all 21 and younger there was a I think one was 20 um, I don't know. I, I have a funny feeling they were all at least. I know they were. I know they were right around 21. It was a four-piece band. These guys, they've only been together for two years. Their harmonies were unbelievable. Uh, their vocals were strong, and the way they played. Oh my God! They really knew how to fill the sound. I don't. I don't. I don't know how. To, I, I can't explain that to people that don't really know too much about music. But the four instruments that were being played, drums, lead, rhythm, and bass guitar, was absolutely, it just, man, the sound was amazing. You know, I was blown away with the way they were able to really make it sound like you were hearing an eight-piece band, if that makes any sense to you. Um... But yet, they were the basic instrumentation. They were the instruments they used. They had no keyboards. They didn't have any of that stuff. No, uh, and it was just really good. They just they were pure talent. Now, what I'm getting at is kids that are born, or you know, people that are born in general, with natural talent like that. I mean. Uh, they don't have any experience. They don't, I mean, they're 21 years old. So I was like, 21, and you guys sound like you've been together for 30 years. Absolutely. That just goes to show you talent will always rise to the top. Pure talent will always overtake all the knowledge in the world. It really does. I mean, uh, I've seen it. I've seen DJs that buried me. Because they were so raw with talent. I have talent. I have perfect pitch here, hearing. <clears throat> but I still had to work at my craft a bit. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not the best musician in the world. But I, 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 I use music theory when I, I and I've always used music theory, ever since I was. I started doing this. I started DJing in 1976. Long time, you know. So. Let's get back to work here. All right, so now I have the general shape of my work. Let's 
So what I want to do is I want to sneak this in. I want to get the corners um, where I want them. That's not a lot of clay right there, but that changes the whole face. It really does, especially when it's smoothed in completely. <coughs> you know what I've got to do here? All right, so. Just now starting to get the, starting to corner, fix this corner. Always looks rough at first until you get it really, until you get it in, you sneak it in. Okay, so, see what I did was I pulled too much away from here, and it literally has to be straight out. So, with that being said, I'm just going to put a little back in here. I think my DVD is done. We shall see. Okay, so now I want to blend this back into the face. Looks like a natural wrinkle. That's why you only use a little bit of clay at a time because you have to sneak it in. You have to sneak it in. Always remember that. Sneak it in. Don't overdo it. Don't put so much clay. Oh my God, now I'm going to spend an hour trying to clean off all the clay if I put way too much on there. That's why I say it's always better to work with crumbs of clay and just work your way out. Don't ever, don't overdo it. And it's different if you're trying to fill the whole head something really big but always be conservative um, always approach it conservatively I, I approach life conservatively well, it's just it's just the way I roll and that is still not at the right pitch I gotta really fill this in That's an idea. How do I get that shape pushed in like that? <coughs> what do I have? What tool do I have? I know what I can do. No. Oh. Dummy. That shaper's right here. 
You see, I have to use the metal ones because the silicone ones I have here, they're, all right, these are silicone shapers. They're too soft um, to really get, to get them to uh, do what I need it to do. So I take this ball. overdo this. Now what I'll do is I'll take the bigger ball, kind of get rid of all those little uh, imperfections. Hold on, let me see what else I can do here. Cutting edge, dopey. Now there's little potholes I created into the face because of the the ball I'm smoothing out with the with the <coughs> now. Okay, so this dips down just a little bit further. Like I said, sneak it in. Um, the bulge sticks out just a little bit further. Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. And believe it or not, once I blend this in really nice, it'll look like it's supposed to be there. See what I'm doing is I'm actually trying to get rid of these lines. Really push that in smoothly. I'm going to push that back again. Okay. Now, let's see if we can blend this a little bit. The same thing has to happen on the other side of the face. You're blending in where, where it comes together into the face. You don't want to see any, any kind of lines or, or uh, seams so to speak, because
you see how that's coming in now? You start really starting to see that shape correctly. It's, it's the right look. And like I say, you see how I'm, I'm constantly adjusting what I'm doing. All right, so now I need to turn some light onto this area because I want to make sure that that's smoothed in. See how rough that is now? <coughs> <clears throat> Cough, go away. See what I'm doing? Taking out all that rough look. And blending that right into the face. Make sure it's not too lumpy. I'm going to call this go with the flow. <coughs> now you see how it's bright white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a little naphtha on there just to see where I'm at now as far as smoothness goes. I know where I'm at with the lips, so eh, maybe I'll do that too. No, I shouldn't have done the lips because i got to wait like 20 minutes now before I can carve onto them again. Ah, about 10, maybe 5 minutes. I'll have to work on something else, that's all. <coughs> it's almost blended in. It still looks lumpy to me. <coughs> Come on, go away. But you see how uh, I guess it's better to do it this way because I'm not going to show I'm not going to video the other side. I'm going to do the one side, and then you have to do the other side the same way. That's all. And you really just want to really um, See, right, in, right at the top of this has to be smoothed into the face better. Um, right up in here. Right up in there. That, that whole thing, when it, you know, it's bulging into it, even though that it's blended into the face, it still looks like a lump. And that's not what we're trying to do. It has to be blended in, you know, so it doesn't look like there's any kind of, you don't want any kind of like little seam there. Um, <clears throat> So, I'm going to have to wait for this to dry just a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be really nice when this is done. This has been a long, long project. I'm trying to really bring it in. But just, just by doing the upper lip, it took all that puckerness, that, that pucker look. I, I call them pucker puss, you know what I mean? That took that away. <clears throat> and now it's really starting to look good. It's really, it's really coming in. Wait till that lower lip's working on. Now I'll do another video working on the lower lip. You've seen this, and I'm going to probably do this off video on this side. And still just do a little bit more work in this area. And then I'll come back on and I'll make another tutorial uh, I'll just make another live video on me doing the lower lip so this way the videos aren't too long so what I want to do is it feels like it's mm, yeah because if the if the outer outer surface is still kind of soft from naphtha uh, the last thing you want to do is stick clay onto the soft surface 
uh, you don't want to stick clay onto that soft surface because it just kind of pulls away from it when you're trying to smooth it out. You need that surface to be hard again, really, really hard. <coughs> so I got at least a 10 minute wait, maybe even longer, for this to stiffen up enough to where I can fix this, uh, this little lump. Um, and if I pull on this, it'll create more lump. It, it just It's just not the right thing to do. Make sure it's good and hard before you start push and prying or smoothing out with your fingers or and I am still I still like using my fingers because I have a real nice sense of feel it's almost like I can close my eyes see the image in my head and I can I can feel that um, image on my hands I don't know how to explain that but that's what I'm able to do that's why I was able to pretty much get this guy more accurate than looking at pictures. I'm looking at the pictures to make sure that I have the lines right, uh, the cut right, the, you know, the, the, you know, that, <clears throat> the shape of the mouth. Um, but when it actually comes together, when you're at the final stages, you know, it's the little tweaking that you do here and there that really make the difference on whether or not your sculpture looks alive or it looks sculpted you know does it look like a real human face or does it look you know. and you're not talking to somebody that has a lot of experience so that's not what i'm getting i don't i don't even pretend to act like i know every, i don't know anything i'll tell you what the school that i'm going into uh over this summer maybe even sooner uh Give me two years of, of uh, working with that school. Then I can say that I, I know what I'm doing. Until then, I don't know anything. I'm just learning as I go. <clears throat> as I go, you go. So we're in it together, guys. And that's going to never change. As I, as I learn from the schooling, uh, provided that I'm not allowed... I find it hard to believe that I'm not allowed to share what I learned because, um, yeah, that wouldn't make sense to me. You're paying for the schooling, you're doing what you want to do, and if I want to share what I've learned, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to put my own little, uh, my own little spins on things too, I think. You have to do that anyway because it's all about how comfortable you are. <coughs> when you're uh, doing the uh, the sculptures, you know it's like uh, my worst side is my left. You know, working from uh, I always like to work from left to right, not right to left. I don't like working this way. It just doesn't feel comfortable. I always want to go this way with everything. Uh, you'll notice that with my and. Using my left hand, oh, I hate it because I have to be so slow, so careful not to, you know, uh, dig in too far or, you know, mess it up. So, because it's not comfortable for me to use my left hand at all. Um, so, with that said, guys, I'm going to make this a fairly short video for you. And I'll finish the uh, other side. And uh, as this thing comes together, you're, you're seeing the, base, the, the basic gist of how you do the lips. You know, I'm still going to do a little bit of work in here um, of, of shaping and everything. But this is, this is how it's done. You know, now I look, to me, that looks like a real lip. This was bulging just a little bit too much right at the top, right where it comes into the, uh, the other lip. This is bulging just a little bit too much still. So I have to cut this back a little bit. Um, but uh, digging in pretty good. That's a nice. That's a nice shaped lip. It's it's that's what human lips look like. <clears throat> so, well, some obviously William Shatner's lips look like that. Um, the mask did. I you know I don't know. I've seen some still shots where his mask, his his lips look more full. <clears throat> I guess it just depends on whether he's in a relaxed state. I'm sure he was relaxed when they. 
did a, a mold, a casting mold of him. <clears throat> he was probably laying down, put a little Vaseline on his eyebrows, put a bald cap on him, and they did a, uh, they did a life cast of his face and that's what you got from the uh, that's that's how they created the uh, Captain Kirk mask and Leonard Nimoy also did a life cast so when they did Leonard Nimoy and Captain Kirk uh, Leonard Nimoy Spock and Captain Kirk they, those masks used to be on the shelves it's funny I, I if I had known uh, back in 75 when I was on the boardwalk at 13 years old a place called the Fun Shop. They had tons of those Captain Kirk's ma Kirk masks in there, along with Spock. And I just never, I just, eh, stupid looking. <laughs> but Michael Myers wasn't born yet. He wasn't born until 1978. So, character-wise, I mean. Um, <clears throat> actually, he was born in 63, but <coughs> I'm wrong. He was older than that. That was when he killed his sister. It was in 1963. He was six. So, do the math. I'm too tired to. Anyway, uh, um, but the film wasn't made until 1978. <clears throat> Who knew? They were going to take a William Shatner Captain Kirk mask, cut the eye holes out, spray paint it white, mess up the hair, tear off the sideburns, uh, dirty it up. The dirtying actually happened, and, and I saw this in an interview with, I think, Nick Castle. The way Nick Castle would carry the mask around all the time, uh, they spray-painted the hair. Now, back in them days, I know they didn't have hair dye that was in a spray can. You know, that, wasn't, that didn't exist. So they used spray paint in the hair. And you can see him carrying that mask by the hair in a lot of, you know, uh, still shots of him walking around the, the set carrying the mask and he would just grab it by the hair. And that's why the hair looks so messed up. And that wasn't even done on purpose. So everything about the Michael Myers mask was all accidental. And he would take the mask on and off and put it on. It would get dirty in here from the black paint that was on his hands that was from the, ma you know, the hair. And, you know, wherever he touched the mask, <clears throat> it got dirty. And then they would probably wipe it down to get the, you know, black off of it. Um, I know that they did a little bit of paint work in the lip area. And uh, I think they darkened right around the edges of the eyes. Uh, and they darkened in here just a little bit on both sides, but not real dark. It was, it was, it was uh, just enough. Um, uh, it was light. It was a very light shadowing that they did to the mask. <coughs> now... I don't even know how accurate that is. For all we know, they just spray painted the whole thing white and then the, the lighting actually created all the shadows. You know, the way they lit the mask, I think maybe that might be more true than them actually. Uh, but there was no doubt that the nose was scuffed up and that, and that, um, I think what was happening was when they spray painted the mask, they spray painted down on it. They didn't spray paint up this way. So they spray painted on a downward motion with it. And naturally, underneath of all the uh, areas, the paint didn't really go to it. And it was a flesh color. So between the dirtying of Nick handling the mask and uh, the flesh tones coming out underneath the nose, in the corners of the eyes... Uh, maybe a little bit in here in the check mark cheek. I call that the check mark cheek. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but anyway. And then you got your other cheek, and I think that those those features um, uh, didn't get spray paint in them. You know, uh, they they had some natural 
<clears throat> yeah, you know, I just think that they didn't really spray paint. I think they really rushed it. Let's just put a little white paint on it. I don't think when I listened to the interview <clears throat> of the guy that actually I'm trying to remember his name. I'm sorry. I should I'm a Michael Myers fanatic and I should know who actually Tommy 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 Lee uh, Tommy Tom Tom Tommy. He actually spray painted this mask. The original 78 <clears throat> and, um, and I'm sure you've seen the videos um, but uh, anyway I'm talking about things that you probably already know so uh, this is my Night Creeper 78 uh, it's a combination of the 78 the 81 the flashback mask poster art from Halloween 4 and 5 it's all those masks combined. That's what this is going to be. Um, that's what I'm aiming for. This, I feel, is the perfect looking Michael Myers mask. <coughs> to, be, to be truthful. But then that's my opinion. You know, and you know what opinion, opinions are. So, uh, you experts out there that are mask collectors... And I call you guys real experts because you're the one putting your money out on the line for a product. So I listen to collectors. I really do. I listen to you guys. Uh, this ain't quite right or that ain't quite right. And you've opened up my eyes quite a few times during this process over the year and a half that I've been doing these videos. <clears throat> and um, you were absolutely right, too. So pat on the back, guys. That a guy, baby. That a guy. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> that a guy. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm not being sarcastic. I'm just trying to be a little light, a little funny, you know. Um, but uh, that's what you get. You get a that a guy. That's, I don't think I'm going to do that for now. That a guy. All right. Thumbs up. And uh, not in a sarcastic way, a good way. <clears throat> so I think that's going to be my coin phrase. Anytime somebody, that a guy, all right, man, somebody sees something, I want that constructive criticism, I really do. It's important to have it, because you really can't progress if you don't keep your eyes and ears and other people's, you know, I don't care if you don't make masks, that doesn't mean you don't know what you're saying. If you've studied this mask over and over and over again for years and you've always looked for a perfect mask <clears throat> and you're a collector and you, you've got a shelf full of masks that you've bought, I'd be, be my honor to have my mask on your shelf when I know that some of the masks that are on there have been done by some amazing artists. And, uh, you know... It's 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 an honor. It's an honor when somebody buys your mask. It's uh, I know they can be costly, but it's not cheap to actually do an independent mask. It's a lot of work. I've got a year wrapped up into the sculpture. I've got you know the products itself, uh, the latex, the um, you know. There's just a lot more to it. There's the time consumption, uh, time consumption that goes into all this, and you got to try and at some point gain that back uh, it's going to be a long time before I actually start making uh, making any kind of profit on something like this and we're very limited to how many you can sell you, you really can't sell a lot of these so the first people that usually I offer this to are collectors especially if I feel that they <coughs> they've uh, they like what they see that's an amazing thing in itself when a collector is saying, you know, I don't care, man. I'll spend a $1,000. Not that you have to. You don't have to spend. It's not my point. My point is you're willing to put all that money into something that's a piece of latex. I know it's a lot of work. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is it's a mask. You know what I mean? Most masks that are in the stores are selling for 60 bucks, and they're mass produced. But they don't really spend a lot of time like they do with the independent mask maker the independent mask maker you're always going to get a much higher quality uh, sculpture 
you're going to get a much better uh, look. Uh, I don't care how you spin it. Um, once they start mass producing, even these guys here, you know, they start losing their look. They start losing their details. Uh, an independent mask maker always captures the perfect detail, molds it, and makes a master copy. So this way he ever has to, if he has to reproduce the mold, so this way you're not getting a bad copy of the mask. I always make sure that my molds are always redone after maybe about 10 pulls. 10 pulls, I know you can go 20, and because it's Michael Myers, there's not a lot of detail in it. Uh, there's detail, but it's subtle detail. It's like, you know, it's, it's, there's not any jagged detail. Um, and the smoother something is, the smoother something is, uh, the more you'll get out of your mold. But you can't get much more than 20, 20 pulls out of a mold because what happens, and what happens, I can't speak today, what happens is the mold absorbs too much moisture. All right, it gets to what they call oversaturation. All right, now it may not look like that, but what happens is after about 20 pulls, uh, how a mold works is simply this. Uh, the mold, you pour the latex into the mold and I let it dwell inside the mold and then the, 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 the uh, plaster pulls the moisture out of the, out of the uh, latex. But that moisture gets stored inside the stone mold, all right, and it weakens it over time. And once you've done about 20 masks, that, that mold is pretty much done. Um, it starts losing detail. The, 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 uh, you know, you'll get, like, wherever the lip, like in the seam here, all of a sudden that'll, you know, bust off and it, it won't, you know... You got to look at this as inter it's inverted. Everything that you're seeing here, when you make a mold, it's inverted. It's just the opposite. It still looks the same, but it's just the opposite. <coughs> so, with that being said, you got about 20 pulls. All right. And then you are forced to make another mold. Um, but uh, I try to change my molds every 10 pulls. 10 to 15 pulls. I just want to make sure it's safe. I don't lose any detail. I want to make sure my masks are super high quality to every person that gets one. And uh, I keep readjusting. I have not put this out. I haven't sold any masks at all. You know, from to anybody. I keep retooling this thing, and over and over until and I and I I've, I've made uh, silicone. Or it's not silicone. <clears throat> I made urethane masters of the old sculptures, and I still have not. Now I can actually. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to put them out this summer, uh, as I'm doing this. But this is going to be the master. This is going to be the final one. This will be definitely the final look. That's why I'm really trying to really get it really accurate, as best I can. If I, I, I want to, when I walk away from this sculpture, I want to know in my heart, I know I couldn't do any better. <clears throat> and I thought that with the other ones, but then thank you for your, your guys' input for uh, letting me know some of the things that I missed and had to learn a little bit. But uh, I think I've got it. I think I've really got this down now, and now it's just about finishing it up. With that said, guys... Hit the smash, smash the like button, smash the like button, uh, share my content, and if you're not a, um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, um, and hit the notification bell, <clears throat> that's why you'll, you'll join me whenever I'm on. Uh, I will check your comments uh, once I get done, because my phone's not here, I've got a picture up on my computer, I need another, you know what, I have another monitor over here. Man, that's, that's like behind me. I can't see too well. Oh, well, I have to figure something out where I can have two monitors so one I can pay attention to. I should put one right over here, right there, right next to where I'm working. <coughs> put a monitor right there that is strictly responding to your comments. And uh, uh, 
you know, that's that's uh, that's the way I think I'm going to go. I'm going to try and get it on the monitor over here and uh, be able to. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, just a small one though. Just something that I can I can use my phone for my camera, use the the the, the iMac for the pictures, but more importantly, be able to comment. As you know, when I read your comment, boom, I can answer it right on in the live situation. I think it's the easiest way to do it. Plus, I don't want to keep storing all these videos on my phone because my phone just can't hold all that. Um, so, I think this is the best way to go about it, doing all lives. That's what I'm doing, strictly lives. And then let that video upload and so on and so forth. I want to say thank you guys for, you know, watching and uh, I'm rattling on and I'm talking about the same things over and over again. I don't want to do that. I just want to get done this project. I can't wait to get this molded. I can't wait. It's going to be uh, the first warm weather. I'll have this ready for warm weather. And then the first warm weather we have, I'm out there molding this guy, demold it. Then I'm going to bring it back in here, uh, make it look more like the 2018. H40, and then I'm going to mold that, and I'm just going to keep the sculpture. There'll be very little damage when I demold this. Uh, the ears always get damaged, but because the ears get damaged so easily and the nose gets damaged, they're the easiest things to fix for me. I just find that they're so easy to do now because, um, you know, they, uh, they get damaged. See, what, it, what, what, what happens is when you have your hard stone, it all hardens in here, right? And when I have, it's two, two, two pieces. You got the back side and the front side. And what you do is you split this mass. When you pull, when you demold it, you're actually pulling the stone off in this direction. All right? Now, when you pull the stone off in this direction, they're called locking points. The ears are automatically a locking point. I have my seam that comes down here and back behind the ear and then down the side of the mask. All right, on both sides. That's how I always do my, my uh, seam. All right, and it goes right across the center of the head. All right, you always make sure that your seam is not back too far where this becomes locked. So your seam has to be right dead center of the middle where it's, it slopes down and it slopes back. All right, now, when you pull that forward, this is locked. This is a locking spot. This is where the stone is hard, right in here, and it it pulls the nose, the nostrils. It damages the nostrils every time. It damages a little bit of the undercuts on the other. This is going to be a little different because the undercuts in here are much further back. <clears throat> but the ears definitely get damaged every time because when that stone's inside this ear, it's hard. And when it comes, when it rips out anywhere that's like right here, this is sunk in. Let me see. This is sunk in here. This is sunk in here. So this gets ripped out. This gets ripped out. This gets deformed in this area. Um, but this whole this whole area here rips this out usually um, when it's hard stone. Same thing on the other side. But uh, yeah. That's what happens to a uh, your your sculpture. That's why if you decide you're going to do this, all right. I like using the hard clay. You've got three different. You, this is monster clay. This is a wax-based uh, clay. You have three different levels of hardness. You've got soft, medium, and hard. Hard allows you to save your base sculpture without getting destroyed. If you use medium or soft, when you demold that, man, it wrecks everything. So I learned a long time ago uh, with other, molding other things when I was doing uh, silicone molds <clears throat> with hard castings on it for other projects with art. Um, uh, Hard clay is always the best for me. It may not be for you, but for me, um, that's what I like to do. Um, 
Now, if you don't care that your sculpture is going to get wrecked, then go to Cheapway. Get the get the um, you know get uh, wet clay, the water-based clay. Use that instead because it's cheap. It's real cheap. Um, but if you use uh, monster clay, no matter if it's soft, hard, or medium, uh, it's all the same price. But uh, that's just my thoughts on, on what kind of clay I like to use. This is monster. I mean, if you go to Monster Makers, that's who makes this clay. Um, and I happen to like this stuff. They have a, they have a gray uh, monster clay, too. And I think what I'm going to do is probably after the summer, once I get this in production, <clears throat> I'm going to order a couple more... Mo uh, Ed heads, and I'm going to order at least 60 pounds of the gray uh, monster clay. Uh, I just think it shows more detail. It's hard to, with the flesh tone um, clay, it's hard to see the detail without really good lighting. I think on the gray, it might be a little bit easier to see the, see the details. Like, to me, I don't see anything right in here. It just looks like a washout with the light on it. I think with the gray, I'll see more. But that's just me. Anyway, guys, I, I, I keep saying this. I'm going to say good night. I'm going to say have a great day. Have a great rest of your weekend. It's Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hopefully you're in better weather than I am. It's cold out there right now. So uh, I can't wait till this weather to break. So... Anyway, uh, smash the like, hit the subscribe, and you know, you know what to do. You know what to do. I'm not going to keep telling you over and over again. So, thanks guys for watching. Have a great Sunday, rest of the day. Have a great President's Day if you're into that sort of thing. I could care less. Um, oh man. But anyway. I'm going to get busy on other projects i got to work on today. i got some other things I'm doing right now, too. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Let me take this off of here. Oh, boy, that'll drive you nuts. Four thumbs up, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, see, there you go. I'll give you a nice little quick glimpse of how, you know, what that looks like close up. See, I'm indented here. It's, it's dented in. It's dented over here. You can see. All right. I'm blocking the light. There you go. You can see the little bit of denting. That's what I was doing with the. All right. And you can see this here. That has to be smoothed into the face. There can't. It cannot look like there's a clump of lump here. You know. Can't. It's got to be smoothed in like the bottom is here. All right. And this even has to be smoothed in a little bit better. So, uh, that's one side of it, and I still have to do the lower lip completely. That's going to be a whole other project, but uh, I've been on for 73 minutes, and it doesn't look like I've done a lot, but I have, <clears throat> believe it or not, and I also talk to you guys forever, so, but this is looking good. I am really, really, really happy with this sculpture. I think this is going to really give us... Yeah, see, this is the picture I was using. See where I'm going with this? Take a look at the mouth. Take a good, quick look at it, and I'm going to quickly jump over. All right? Boom. See? Not quite perfect yet, but it will be. Yeah, you see how... You see how in here, how it's blended into the face? You don't see anything there. Same with the other side. You don't see you don't see it, but the lump's there. But it's just it's very very light and mild. Um, that's what has to happen here too. <clears throat> Got to blend it in, just like the cheeks are. They're all blended nicely. You know. Yeah, this is going to be a nice piece. Yeah, if you just look at the lips and the nose, that whole region in here, right in here, just look at that.
and look how close, look how close that is. I mean, the lower lip's not done yet, and neither are the front, you know, neither are the sides, but it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Peace. Have a great, 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 great week and great week, you know, rest of the weekend. Hit the like, share the content, and uh, I'll look. I'll look on there now, and I'll I'll, I'll answer any questions you guys had. Uh, so pay attention to, you know, my comments, and I'll I'll respond to them. I've got to put a monitor in here so I can pay. I can see you guys live. Hey James, happening? What's happening, man? I I just I started working on the mouth. Oh, I did. I got to show you. <clears throat> well, this is this is the uh, lips of the flashback mask. And I'm working on that right now. I'm still, you know, I'm getting close with that. But more importantly, I've brought the jawline back. Remember how we were talking about this? <laughs> let me show you. See what I did? Let me, let me, you know, I got to shrink this down. I brought the jawline back. Now it looks right. It's not sticking out, protruding. But I still got a lot of work to do on the lower jaw and or chin area. And the lip, the lower lip and the chin area has to be worked on yet. So that's where I'm at with this. I'll show you the other side too. I'm gonna side view of the other side. Yeah, see, it looks so much, it looks so right now. You know, there's a perfect profile. Yeah, it looks a lot better. What do you think, James? Man, I did a lot of work. I carved a, I carved a lot of this chin and lip area completely back, at least a half inch. That's how much I took off that front, the front of that face. <coughs> and now I'm just re-sculpting everything back to what it should look like. You know, when it's all, I'm not nowhere done. I just did a little bit of a uh, tutorial on uh, shaping the lips reshaping i'm going to do the a separate tutorial on doing the lower part because this is already 77 minutes long here but i've been working on just the mouth the lips the upper lip and this corner here i'm uh working on that <coughs> so but that's where i'm at with this this sculpture is going to be really nice i think this mask is going to be really really nice um i can't wait From the life cast? No. Well, what was what would be the point if I if if I actually use the life cast? That, that's not really that's cheating. Uh, yeah, I what's I don't know. I mean, if you're you're saying looking at the life cast and then using and doing a life cast uh, sculpture, nah, because you can get that life cast. You can get it easily, and you can do your own thing with it if you want to. Um, I'm not even going to do a Captain Kirk mask. I'm not doing that. I'm strictly all about the character of Michael Myers. Yeah, I think this look is pretty scary. It's, 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 I think, James, you were actually the one that actually said it. Menacing? Did you say, wasn't that your comment that you said that this mask always looks, so, it, my, my sculptures look very menacing? Um... That's a great compliment because that's exactly what my thoughts are on what Michael Myers really should look like. He's very menacing looking. You don't want, I, I don't know, it, there was, it's really hard. It's really hard to um, put your thumb on it as far as uh, what the mask should look like. You know, if you're a big fan Yes. Yeah, it should be. That's what, that's what I'm trying to, um, that's, you know, I close my eyes and I go, okay, what's my perfect version of this mask? My perfect version is a combination of a lot of, of the masks. You know, if you think about when you're, when you're watching, let's say you just watched Halloween one for the first time. All right. How many scenes are in there that you actually see the mask? Very few.
Yeah, it's a combination of, it is a combination of things. I see your comments. It's a combination of expressions. You know, the, the, the lip area is kind of like a sad, it's actually non, like here's, here's the flashback mask that I'm using <coughs> of the lip area that I'm, I'm, I'm actually using this, um, it's a screenshot of the actual mask. I, I zoomed in on the lip area and, uh, that's what I'm going to do to this guy right here. That's how it's going to look. And to me, that looks like the Shatner lips. That doesn't look like the, it looks more like how the Shatner mask used to look. Now, uh, it's a combination, like it's non-expressive in here. All right. Uh, it's got a little bit of a meanness to the eyebrow positioning. The scowl definitely is like, you know, it's got a, hey, I ain't messing around here. That whole upper area here is Halloween four and five. That's what that is. Now the eye shapes are a combination of the original one and I want to say Halloween two, 1981. So there's a little bit of flavor to all the versions. That's, that's, I just think that now getting back to it, like you only seen Halloween one. I forgot to make this point. Uh, what would be your perfect mask based off of one picture that you saw from that, from that movie? What was, what would be the, if you were going to make a Halloween one mask, uh, the 1978 from what still shot, let's say you haven't, you can't get any still shots from any other movies. Yes, definitely. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I, I just think that, you know, the, there's, there's some, there's some expression to the face and it's just like you, if, if it was you that said it menacing, it's got a menacing look. Um, but you know, um, I just think that it's there. Uh, I really figured out how to bring the scowl into the top of the nose. And I really love the way that looks now because that really looks natural. It looks like he's, you know, he's frowning on, you know, it just gives you that menacing look. The positioning of the eyebrows are very, very, so very important. And I mean, I'm talking less than a 16th of, of a, it's, it's like a 16th in thickness. If it's out of position just by a 16th, it changes the whole look of the face. It really does. <coughs> if you're trying to replicate the Halloween uh, four and five poster, uh, that's what I was aiming for. Uh, the bulges on the on the on the scowl right below the scowls. Uh, I want to say the eye socket uh, on the skull. They're bulged out to make th that. That's probably the only thing that I used. No. The, the bulge outs there and the lips are what I'm using from the, fla the flashback. Um, yeah, this is what it's starting to, you know, I'm starting to realize exactly what I've, you know, what, what I'm using from each scene of the movie, you know, and it's original. It's not any replica of somebody's work, not a perfect replica of anybody doing any. So if this is actually appealing to you guys, especially collectors, I just did a whole bit on how I feel about collectors. I think that they're the people I listen to the most. Why? Even if they're not artists. Why? Because they, they, they have a passion for this mask. All right. And they really want a perfect mask, whatever it, that vision in their mind is. And when you... As for me, when I find somebody that's that passionate about it and they go, you know, I think this, this might, if you did this or did that, um, but I still always battle with that, with my own vision. So it was really cool that you guys pointed out a lot of the collectors, they pointed out my eye cuts were too big. Um, 
And it wasn't until I kind of really kind of looked at it and went, yeah, you know what? You're right. My cuts were way too big. And you make those adjustments because, uh, and that's why I always like constructive criticism because oh, I'm trying to get comfortable. Um, that's exactly what it is, constructive. Now, if somebody's just ranting and just trying to be mean, uh, I don't have time for that. I don't really pay attention to people like that. I don't pay attention to people like that in anything I do. Uh, James, if you go to my Facebook under John Hickman, uh, H-I-C-K-M-A-N, uh, parentheses, DJ Styles with two Ys, um, A-K-A, DJ Styles. Uh, last night I was working at the bar, uh, club, whatever, and uh, I got a couple of videos I put up from, from me being live last night. I wasn't actually DJing. The band was on. I was trying to uh, promote the band <coughs> on Facebook to the local crowds, but gee, it was nuts in there, man. It was so packed. So you can get a general idea of what I do there if you want to check that out. That's another subject altogether. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, getting back to this, uh, I just think that, you know, you can't, you know, I have my own vision in my head. I have pictures that I, I use uh, with some of the things. Uh, sometimes, most times I don't even have a picture up. Yeah, I, that's exactly what it is, you know. And, and I'm, I am going to go, I thought about this, James. You're going to love this. <clears throat> I am going to go to... Uh, uh, not go to school physically. I'm going to take an online course. And the course is probably a couple of years. Um, but it's an investment. And I am going to do, uh, I am going to take that course on sculpting and prop making and mask making and all this fun stuff. I really love it. You know, this is, this wouldn't be school for me. This would be just an added element. And I started thinking about it. I said, I'm going to share it. I'm going to share what I learned. I'm going to put my own little twist in it because we have to do that anyway because it's about comfort, um, how you do something versus the way somebody else does something. So, and I'm going to continue sharing that knowledge as I learn. You know, I just think what it is now, I have to, I have to do that because I'm repeating. I find myself doing the same techniques over and over and over again. And it doesn't really, you don't really, you can only learn so much on your own. You know what I mean? Um, unless you want to spend 15, 20 years learning, uh, then you'll learn a lot more. But I find myself doing the same thing over and over again. So what I want to do is take this course, and it's because I'm getting older, I'm 60 years old, I don't want to be spending uh, years on learning how to do this. I want to get right into it. I want to learn what I can learn techniques from, from other artists that have spent years learning it and, uh, take their knowledge and run with it, you know, and, uh, really, uh, uh, put, put some nice stuff together. And as I learn things on, in the school, I'm going to share it on YouTube. So, that's my plan, and I think uh, I'm not going to do that until I get these sculptures done. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll jump into something like that, and I'll watch. Because I only need to do one or two videos a week on YouTube. <coughs> I'll do one or two videos a week, like I have been doing. I have been lately. I've been putting a lot up. Yeah, yeah, well... You walk a mile in my shoes, you would say different. <laughs> I, I I'm beat up, man. I got a, I got a ba I got a battered body at this age. I I played semi pro football. Um, I've got nine vertebrae that are fused in my back. I've got a heart condition. Uh, I got uh, type one uh, type two di diabetes. It's mild. It's not that bad. Um, I'm just controlling it with diet. But, and I'm way, way, way beyond overweight. So, and I just, everything I've done, I've been dealing with a digestive problem. And that's partially, I think that is what's causing my weight issues. Um, not so much my food intake or what I'm eating or what I'm eating. 
the digestive problem. I don't know what's going on there, so we're going to probably look into that too. Um, but yeah, at 60 years old, I got issues, man, tons of them. And, uh, oh, nobody does. Nobody does. I didn't expect to be, I, I, I'm not trying to say that I'm not doing this. I'm not saying this arrogantly, please don't take it that way. But I didn't expect to be as good as I am. But at the same time, when I first started doing this, I thought I was better than I was. And the more I started doing it, and the more you guys kind of pointed out the little things that I'm missing, I started going, you know what? I need to pay more attention to human anatomy and stop thinking you're all that because you ain't. You got some learning to do. You got a lot of learning to do. And I do. I still, I'm still learning. So there, there is that. You can't just you can't jump into anything that you do and, and, you know, just be great at it right at the first, in the beginning. Uh, I've never had a, a course in human anatomy. Um, <coughs> and what I mean is, uh, you know, the face, you know, it's like, how I, I, like the first, the first sculpture I did, you know, like in the nose where the, where the, you're not thinking you're, you're just thinking, okay, well, how do I achieve that look? Well, without knowing techniques, because that's where it's really at. It's all about the techniques. Um, without knowing that, I mean, you know what you want in your mind, but it's how do you do it? How, how do I achieve it, you know, without fighting with my tools? You know, what, what is the, what am I missing? What am I looking at here? What am I doing wrong? I see it. I just don't understand what I'm seeing. You know, it's just like when I, when we were first, when we were talking about that a couple, couple of weeks ago, I didn't understand what was wrong with the jaw. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't put my, my finger on it. I couldn't figure out what was going on with the eye cuts. Um, I didn't know what it was that was bothering me about it. And all of a sudden, boom, it was like, <laughs> I could have had a V8. You know what I mean? Um, uh, it, it just clicked all of a sudden. Oh man. You mean to tell me all this time, you know, uh, well, that's pretty much what it is. That's what happens with, uh, you know, learning this stuff on the fly. Uh, I'm sure if you go to school and you're doing human faces, they're going to teach you every little thing on how to really look at your, uh, your sculpture from multiple angles, multiple, it just, and the correct places, the way things are, where things are supposed to be and how they're supposed to look on a face. I didn't have any of that schooling. So it's learning as you, I'm just learning as I go. And uh, I love it. I really do, man. I, I have more passion for this than I do for my job. And I love my job. So don't get me, get me crazy. I just, I've been fortunate, man. Knock on wood. I've been blessed to be able to do what I want to do my whole life. I've been a disc jockey my entire life. I loved it passionately. It was never a, never a job to me. It was always just fun. Uh, not many people get to say that in life. Um, uh, this, I'm just as passionate about this as I am I'm that. So, I mean, man, I wish I had... I wish I had done this years and years and years ago, uh, but YouTube didn't exist, you know, that many years back. And uh, boy, if, if YouTube was around, phew, I'd be a half-ass rocket scientist by now to <laughs> in any field I choose. Um, yeah, if YouTube was around back in my day when I was young, because I was always cracking books open. I, I was one of these guys that if I wanted to learn something, crack the book, um, learn. Now I crack a book, I get through about three paragraphs and I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm sleeping. I fall asleep on it. So I like audio books. They're awesome. Uh, but I love YouTube hands on, see the video. Some guys mislead you. We know that that's going on too, but, um, 
What do you think? What do you think, James? Uh, yeah, it's 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 a cool thing. I think I think I got the jawline right now. It just looks a little weird because the the chin hasn't been sculpted yet. I mean, I literally cut. Uh, I, I I cut away at this thing, and tried to maintain the shape of the chin as I was cutting back along with the up in this area. I had to do the same thing. I mean, I literally forced that. If you look at the other videos and you look at how far this chin was sticking out and the upper lip compared to where it's at now. Um, I'll tell you what, let me do a profile shot. And then on your computer, what you can do, snapshot that profile, all right? If you download the video, snapshot, we're not even, you don't even have to download it. Do a snapshot of the profile on this video, all right? And then do a snapshot of an older, you know, I think I did a profile. Yeah, I did a, a couple profiles on the other, you know, before I fixed the chin. Take those and, and look at the difference. I mean, literally, the chin was out to about here. That's how much I took off of here. I mean, it was sticking way out over here. And uh, the thing I've realized is, the shape of the the, the, the the profile was always, and then it comes back again. That always came back. The chin came back. Um, now it's, yeah, do a snapshot, and, and you'll see how much has changed, uh, even where the, the, uh, where the, the mouth uh, corner right here is dead even now with the back of the, right where the, the, the nose and the cheek come in. That's supposed to be right there. That's, that's you know, it, it, trying to get it, trying to figure out what was wrong was hard, but yet simple once I realized what it was. You know, then I knew how to fix it. And uh, the nose to me looks a little small now compared to what it, but I don't know. It's a pudgy nose. I guess it looks all right. Um, I don't know. I don't want to go changing that at this point. No, no, no. Because I think it's so, such a small, uh, insignificant change that <clears throat> it's just not worth destroying the entire sculpture of the nose area. <coughs> Yeah, I'm. Well, this this is the right side, right? Is that what you're talking about? This is the right side. Um. Okay, cool. I'm glad you're saying the nose is perfect because that was eating at me a little bit. Um. So this is the right side here, right? This is the right side. Or are you talking your right side? Um. Yeah, well, the other thing, too, is I have the light over here on the left of me, and you're not getting a real good look. You're not getting a real good look of the, uh, the right side. Did you comment and I missed it? Um, yeah, this isn't done yet by far. Like you can't see in the shadow here, you can't see that little, that checkpoint that's in here to kind of go straight across. Where I'm pointing was perfect. This side is the side you don't think is right. Needs more work. Well, yeah, I still don't have, the, I still got work to do in this area. Um, the jawline is right. I mean, the jawline, look here. Uh, it's, you don't see the chin. Shoot. But I pretty much have the jawline right where it needs to be. If you just look at where the check mark is on the cheek, you can see that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think what I'm noticing differently on on this on this mask, you see how this cheek really comes out pretty far right here? You can see because you've got the light hitting it on this side, and then there's a shadow going into the nose from this still shot. All right, so that tells me that this cheek is bulging a little bit more right in here. All right, so I may have to throw a little bit more clay on there to create a little bit more of a bulge. Wait a minute, the jaw looks still too forward to you? On the left side. Now, let me show you. Now, if I'm looking down, see, see? It's almost perfect. Look straight down onto the, onto the picture or onto the sculpture. I'm dead center. You know, if you go right up here, now see how the cheek lines are right even on both sides? You see that? It's almost dead on. I, I it might be the lighting that you're 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 uh, like if you look at this, see how that looks? All right. Now this is a different sculpture. Remember, I, the chin's not as prominent, like carved in on each corner here. But then you see this area where it's bulged out on both sides. I still have to do that with this here. This lower, this lower lip region still has to be done. All right, this, this, this is going to get a little bit more bulge here, and a little bit more bulge here. All right, and then this gets carved in a little bit. Okay, wait a minute. Now, if I turn this to the other side, meaning. Okay, are we talking about this side? Now take a look at that. Believe me, I got my caliper out. You see that caliper that's back there? I got my caliper out to make sure that that jawline was exactly where that's supposed to be based based off of some still shots that I got from the the extras in Halloween Kills DVD. So it's accurate. Now here's what's wrong. I know what it is and it's been bothering me and I, I don't know that I want to fix this because... <coughs> All right. This will instantly fix itself. All I have to do is bring this neckline out a little further at the bottom. In other words, I got to bring this angle out. You see this angle that the, the neckline is here? That's got to be straight across. If that was straight across and then, and then up, this changes the whole look of this mask, uh, this sculpture. You bring this neckline out. Now, let me show you what I mean. Um, I'll look at this. I'm, I'm going to use this for reference. All right. You see that? You see how that mask looks? Let me zoom in. All right. You see how that goes down and then comes out just a little bit? It, it, it kind of just zip and then comes out. Yeah, that's, that's the difference. I think that's, I, I, I couldn't read all that. I'm going to go back and read all your comments, James, and then I'll make, I'll make responses. But you see how, now see, look, like this sculpture here, it's, it's protruding out. It's, it's like, look, look how much further the chin is compared to where the eyebrows are. Look how much further out. And that's straight up and down. You see how that's flush? 
Yeah, see how that's flush here? The neck, the neck is flush straight across. All right. And you look at how the chin bob bobs out and, and the face is kind of like on a slanted angle like this. That's this sculpture. Where mine, let me zoom back out again. The whole reason this isn't doesn't look quite right is because of the neck. That needs to be straight across, but here's the issue. And I've already had this, my brother, including myself, the neck, you, when, you go to, when you go to demold this, you end up cutting off a lot of the back a, 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 a section of the neck because this neck section here, when you're wearing the mask on both sizes, as a matter of fact, <coughs> almost touch your shoulders. Like especially your, your uh, come on, um, what do they call them, lats? Oh, come on. Uh, no, that's that's the side of you. It's been so many years since I've done some. Anyway, right in here. Yeah. Well, the reason why I slanted this neckline is because I knew naturally when we wear the mask, uh, it needs to be... It needs to be tilted uh, because the back of my shoulders are fairly big. I, I, I'm a big dude, but I don't wear the mask anymore. No, James, I, no, I, there's no such thing as criticism. Uh, there's, constructive, there's constructive criticism. If you're seeing something, and I kind of already know what it is, um, I'm explaining that part. Uh and I'm not done yet. Don't get me wrong. This this chin and everything is going to look so much different. It's going to look, it's going to look like that when it's done. Um, but I know what the illusion problem is of why this doesn't look quite right, uh, angle wise. I'm talking about angles. All right. It's because of the neck. The neck is slanted back a little bit here. All right. And I need to bring it straight down. I'm just going to add a little clay to the front end, front end of this uh, neck area, but I don't want to change the pitch. I thought about that with changing the pitch of the uh, the sculpture on the bottom of the neck. I end up cutting it away because my brother and including myself and anybody that's ever worn one of these masks, they end up cutting more off the bottom of the mask because it doesn't it hits your shoulders the way it sits on your head because there's more. William Shatner had, you know, he had more skull up this, this, his skull was, you know, it was weird. He just had a weird shaped head. And when your head sits in that mask up in this area, the back of this mask would always hit the top of your shoulders. And when you turn your head, your mask, your, your mask would constantly. Yeah, it, it's hard. It's it, the illusion is the neck. The neck is the, is what's causing the, the illusion that the jaw is slanted forward. <coughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. But if you're looking at both of these masks, you know, here, I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn this to the other side and just, just look at the profile difference. Just look at the two profiles. I'll turn them where they're right, you know, going in the same direction. Now, this is a much smaller mask compared to my sculpture, and that's because of shrinkage when you do make your, your latex um, copies. All right, so let me turn this. I know I'm, I'm banging my camera around. I just don't want to hit my sculpture. Let me make sure that the, they're definitely facing. Let me back it up just a little bit. All right. Now look at the difference in the slant. And you notice this neck here is almost flat. It's, um, it's got a little bit of a pitch to it, but not much. It's straight across. Look at the slant difference. Look at that. Look at the way that comes out and that jawline protrudes really far out. Where mine comes almost straight down and then tucks back in. That's how that mask is. If you actually see a profile still shot of that mask, of the flashback mask in 78, and if you actually look at the 78 mask, it does the same thing. Um, it tucks back in. 
it goes from here, gets to the nose, and then it starts going back inward. And it's, it's more rounded back in. Um, where this one, this sculpture here, it just keeps the chins the furthest point out of this entire sculpture, the way it sits. The chin is the furthest point. Um, so I love the look at this. I love the look of this mask. So I, I, I can't say it's wrong, but at the same time, I also like that look. And I also like the original look. Um, I think the difference is, is look at the pitch difference on my neck. All right. Compared to what this pitch is. All right. And look at, look at how this comes straight down the neckline right here underneath the chin and see how mine slants back. I've got to bring mine down a little bit more. I don't need to bring it down this way. I just need to bring this more straight up and down. So I need to put some more clay on the front of this thing. <coughs> um, to give you more of a Yeah, well the light the light is uh light can be really dis deceptive. It's it's actually even hard to sculpt. Um uh, let me try and do something here. Yeah, it's it's uh yeah, by turning the light off completely, you can see where the cheek is. It's pretty much, I mean, if you look at the two cheeks, let's just take a look at the two cheeks by themselves. Now, this is bigger. This is much bigger than this mask. This is almost like sticking out a little bit towards me, a little bit, but about the thickness of the, the head itself. It's not really that much further out. But look at the cheek areas. They're pretty much the same. Uh, not quite I identical, but then again... Yeah, no, 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 don't, 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 don't beat yourself up over it. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not defending myself and by no means. And if somebody sees something, man, I'm quick to go, okay, wow. Yeah. I didn't notice that. I don't, I'm not, a, I don't have an ego, man. I really don't. I don't care about it. I think it's bullshit. How can you be an ego? How can you be egocentric when you've only been sculpting a year and a half? You know, I've only been tackling this Michael Myers in clay for a year and a half, you know, and I just keep readjusting. I mean, I've got my master molds. All these are done, and I don't like the way they look. I mean, not compared to this one. <coughs> I will sell these still if people want them, um, but I don't really. Uh, these are the latex. These three that you're seeing right now, they're the latex uh, castings, foam-filled, that I can make masters from. Um and that'll be a smaller mask. That'll even be a smaller mask when it's done. These yellow ones that you see here are the main masters, and they're the exact same size as the sculpture. <coughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I am seeking my own original vision, uh, James. I really am. Yeah, I think that's I think that's true. I think you know if if you see this mask in a dark alley, you know, staring you down on somebody that's really good at being Michael Myers, that's going to scare the living crap out of somebody. Um, I think. And again, like I said, what do I know? So I got my thermos. I got my hot coffee. I never even drank any of it yet. Um, that's why I always put my coffee in a thermos now, because uh, well, yeah, I uh, I never drink it, and then it gets ice cold on me. So I said, you know what? Today I'm going to put it on my thermos. Yeah, I do. I have to see the way I have my lights here. These two lights, they're kind of pointing. Like if you're looking at my bench here. They're kind of pointing at the edge of this bench, all right? And they're not quite centered. I need to put this light just a little bit further over, you know, and 
try to go down directly straight down on the masks. Now I was talking to Nick Malpagano and he was with the lighting. He uses, um, I think he uses a forward lamp like I got here. I got a little, I got a LED uh, wash. It's a wash lamp, um, but it's, it's bright, super bright. But I only have one that's working. My the cable is bad on the other one. So, um, but anyway, uh, he does like he likes to put a a blue light on one side and I think a white light on the other. I'm sorry, I missed I missed that comment. I was trying to read it and I was moving the camera. Um, or moving my phone. So I told people until you jumped on, I told people I was jumping off. Yeah, I, I think this will definitely scare the living crap out of somebody. And I, the main, the main thing is I don't want it to look like a store-bought mask. You know, is I, I want it to look like, Hey man, Holy God, this, this didn't come from a store. That's all you can do. I mean, you can't, you don't, you don't want your, your, your hard work and your sculpture looking like somebody else's work. I don't want it to look like somebody else's. I don't want to, it's like even Nick, like some of his, his sculptures, you know, I don't want to copy what he's doing. I don't want to copy exactly what he did. I don't know that I can do an exact replica. I don't know if I have the skill set for that, but I can get close I can get close. I can get closer than what I'm trying here to replicate something exactly. But I thought about it and I thought, you know what? I want my own version of this. I don't want it to be, uh, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be uh, somebody else's work. <coughs> Even the original film, I'm not trying to replicate the exact original film. Um, I hope so. I hope so. Once I have this all done, I think this is going to be a nice piece. Um, I really hope it's going to be a real nice piece. Uh, it's going to be fun to see this come to life. Now, I think I have some learning to do with painting. Uh, definitely. I'm going to have to... But I... I I have an airbrush. I have this airbrush here. It's a trigger airbrush. Uh, I'm not very good with it. I'm just learning how to use it. Yeah, no, it, it, you have a vision in your head, and it's really kind of hard to wash it out. You just kind of like, okay, what's your perfect? <coughs> but I'm getting back to the airbrush that I have. Uh, I'm not too good with it. It's going to take a lot of practice. Uh, I, what I intend to do is practice with this over the next couple of, you know, several months. And uh, thanks, Joe. Yeah, you got to see it from the front view. Hold on. I'll turn it so you can see it. Oh, I'm so sore today, guys. I don't know what's coming, but maybe bad weather, maybe not. Okay, so that's a, oop, what happened? Okay, so that's a downward view. I mean, I'm not done. This, this mouth has to be completely done yet. The mouth, the lower lip. I had cut the bottom chin way back. And when I did it, I was carving, I carved from here and here. I carved this way back, right, right from the start. I cut this back to almost to the point where the lips were completely gone outside of a little bit of a crack. Yeah, James, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not using airbrush. I'm going to, I'm going to use, the, the, I use a spray, I use a sprayer, a uh, regular sprayer for the, uh, I got a big sprayer for doing the base coat in white. And then I use inks. See these here? I use these inks here. And the inks are amazing, man. They really look good. But you have to have that base coat on there. To use the inks. And I was just goofing off with this thing just to 
just the blood. I was messing with the blood. That's a translucent blood ink. And it looks, it feels great on there. It doesn't, doesn't, didn't dry out the latex. But I was messing around with the airbrush. And uh, I, I was just messing with the red. I had red in there for something else. And I thought, let me just see what, how good of a blood this looks like. And it looks good. The blood looks really good. And it's translucent, the ink. Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a clown mask, you know, paint his nose red or something. You know? <laughs> I don't know. This is just, this This is the mask that I fixed the uh, lips on. I closed, this, I closed the, uh, the gap in the lip. This, this mask is, I can repaint this whole thing and, and just keep messing with that thing, you know. But anyway, Joe, I want to give you a dead-on shot of what this looks like and it's what it's starting to look like. All right, now the lower jaw, because I cut this all the way back to fix the profile... Oh, thanks, man. I, I hope so. Yeah, that's just, you know, and that's all. I'm not trying to get rich on these masks. I'm not going to go up there and put something on eBay and let people go crazy with, like, 5,000. I mean, it's crazy. I've seen some. I saw one. Nick actually had one on eBay. It went for, like, over $1,000. And I think the one that he did when he first came out with the 13, <coughs> um, he sold it for like thirty seven hundred, or was it twenty seven hundred? It might have been thirty. I think it was thirty seven hundred dollars. People jumped all over that. You know, they really liked that mask. I missed that comment. Can you repeat that again? I was looking up at the my bucket up on the. It looks like it's going to fall off up there. I got, I've got to go fix that. But anyway, um, Joe, this is this is nowhere near done yet. The chin, like I'm working on the the mouth from here. This is the flashback freeze, you know, freeze shot of the flashback mask. That's what I have to do down here with this. I'm working on the upper lip today, and I was working on the corner of the mouth on the one side, just showing people how to sculpt that. And uh, yeah, there's 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 little things that have to be done yet. Little things that have to be done, and. Uh, Looking forward to finishing this up and getting it ready for mold. Uh, I can't wait. This will be really cool when this is all done. Um, but uh, what do you think, Joe? Pretty cool? So, randomly jumping all over the place. But that's a bad shot. I got my DVD finished, so I got I to gotta go handle that now in a few minutes. Um, that's pretty much it. Are you still on? Yeah, you guys are both on. Um, who else is on with me? Say hello. Put a comment up for me. Is it Joe? I see, I've noticed like, I'll go from nobody on, then one, then two, then three, and four, and then nobody, and then one, two. It's like it's, goes on and off. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's just a uh, glitch. But James, you're still with me, right? James, do me a favor. Well, I'll check your messages once I get once I get off of here. So let me zoom in a little bit more. You can see the D. Yeah, well, what, what do you think? I mean, do people want an exact copy of somebody else's work, or do they want somebody's original work, you know, as collectors? Yeah, I hope so, Joe. I'm just, I'm really, uh, every time I, every time I get, I tool this thing, I see things, I see things a little bit, you know, different. I keep, I keep seeing things. I keep, I keep noticing things. You know, now what I'm working on is the lips. Let me zoom in on the lips. No, okay. Um, I still got a lot of work to do in the chin. The lip, this area has to bulge out a little bit more. Same with the other side. <coughs> this here has to be cut in some more. The, the lip itself has to be dropped down. I did the upper area is what I worked on today. 
All right, and I did that little check mark and I still have to smooth this into the face more at the top. And this is the goal that I'm looking for right here. The upper part is done. The lower part is gonna is gonna be worked on. <coughs> I can take a look. Just look at the upper lip. Look at the upper lip to 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 make judge on how close I am to the upper lip. There you go. I'll do it again. Now you gotta mind mind you. You're not seeing any of the dark shadows. We're close. We're not perfect yet. But we're getting there. Um, I got to take away a little bit of this little nipple here on the on the bottom of the lip, or on the in the dead center of the, of the upper lip. That has to be taken back just a little bit more. Um, yeah. Yep. It's the little things you don't really take notice of that really can kind of mess you up. Sorry, when I zoom in, you lose all your. Yeah, I I want to make it my own. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want it to be somebody else's. You know, mask. This will be a night creeper from Custom Corpses, and it stands on its own. Um, if you love it. You'll love it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't try to hold the. Uh, um, everybody's feet to the fire, so to speak. I don't know. I'm tired. Why am I so damn tired? I slept pretty long, but I worked hard last night. I really did. I mean, it was packed. If you go to my Facebook, you'll see how packed it was. It was crazy. <coughs> we had probably, I'm going to say at least five, maybe 600 people. And it was standing room only in that place. People were dancing where they stood. They couldn't really do anything else. Well, I'm glad you agree. You guys are collectors, right? Joe, Reese, Joe, and uh, James, you're both collectors. So you're the guys that I actually, you know, you bought my mask and you put it on your shelf when you've got a, a fairly decent sized collection, I'm sure, of well-made masks. To me, that's an honor to have my mask on your shelf. You know what I mean? That's, an, that's a real honor. Um, the average person isn't going to buy a $300, $400 mask. They're not really, they, they'd have to be really, really into Michael Myers uh, for them to, you know, purchase that kind of, you know, to, th to throw out that kind of money. Um, and independent ma mask makers, it's just not cheap. It's not cheap to make, make the mask. It's, it's a lot of time. And the sculpture, uh, I've got over a year wrapped up into this sculpture that I keep retooling because, you know, thank you for, uh, doing what you guys do. And that's criticizing it. And I don't mean that as, it's not a negative to me. It's always a positive. Now, if somebody's just outlandishly just, ah, oh, that looks like crap. And then, you know, bounces off just to be a jerk. I could care less what he says. <laughs> I pay them no mind. You haven't seen the updates? <coughs> well, I finally managed to download my uh, Halloween Kills, uh, this is actually a bad, I took a still shot of my TV out front to get this picture from the, from the Kills extras, and uh, it looks like crap. You see all the lines in the face? Well, that's because it's a picture of a, of a uh, TV. So I want to, I finally got my kills downloaded onto my hard drive and I'm going to go take care of that and then refreeze. I'm going to, I'm going to take still shots from the, uh, the extras. This way I can get this in a much higher quality look, much higher quality. I don't have a 4k player. I, I, you got it, James. 
yeah, I'm just got. I got to keep pushing on it. I got to keep going. Uh, I but there's going to be a time where I have to draw the line in the sand, and I actually want to get this thing molded. So, <coughs> I definitely probably I'm going to uh, uh, seek to mold this the first warm weather we get. So I really have to work on this and get concentrating. It's a little hard to. Um, sculpt and I, 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 I mean, I could talk all the way through things, but I'm just always afraid that people are getting bored of me talking while I'm sculpting. Um, they're close. They're close. They're not quite spot on. And I'll, I'll point out the difference. You ready? Let me zoom in. Okay. You notice in this region here, you see how the, the, the dip in, around that cup there, right there? This is a little bit too, it's too down, it's too deep, all right? And if I just bring this up just a little bit, all right, and make it a little bit pointier in here, it'll look like that. You see what I'm saying? All right. See, see that, see that this is like it. It's not that the, the width is the right distance. That the the, the, uh, the two two little ridges they're the right distance, but this dip is too deep down. And I'll show you what I mean. Here you see now. You see. All I got to do is bring up this area here. Let me zoom back out. Okay, all I have to do is bring this up just a little bit and sculpt this in a little better. And once I do that, then I should be spot on with the lips. Um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a work in progress. It really is. Just constantly working on this thing, always working on it. You know, try to bring it in and make it look good. I'm definitely gonna. Now that I see that difference in the neck, I'm definitely going to bring this bat bottom of this neck out just a little bit more. Um, keep it round, but I want to bump it out just a little bit more so it so it has that the correct uh, pitch. Not so much the pitch; the pitch is going to stay the same <coughs> for fitting reasons. When you go to wear the mask, I'm too fat to be a Michael Myers. Just wouldn't. It just wouldn't work. <laughs> it just wouldn't work. I'd be a perfect zombie, all gored up. You know what I mean? Uh, kind of like The Walking Dead. Remember that the Walker? You remember the zombie that was in the uh, well? I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm the zombie that was in the well, all bloated and flesh falling off. Oh man, that was sick. But man, that's me. I sure as hell can't be a slender Michael Myers. Um, anyway, I'm a big dude. I ain't, I ain't small by no means. So I just laugh about it. All I can do at this age. So, all right, guys, I am going to say good night. Good afternoon, whatever the hell it is. I'm not even sure what it is right now. I'm not sure what time it is. I've been in here for hours working on the computer, working on all kinds of stuff, sculpting, been on here with you guys for 134 minutes, uh, almost 135 minutes. Uh, James, you'll have to back us up and kind of watch what I was doing with the lips. Um, I think that only runs probably about 40, 50 minutes of the sculpting part of, of, of doing this out of this video. The rest of it's just been jabbering, just talking with you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jump off of here. Uh, and I, this is. I know I'm not talking to you guys because you're already subscribed and you're, you're, you hit the like and I'm sure you've got the notification bell on. So uh, I'm saying this to anybody out there that sees this video that doesn't isn't a subscriber. Please subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. Share the content. And I want to thank everybody for being. Uh, following me, I really, I thank all you guys because this just wouldn't happen. 
This wouldn't happen if I didn't have YouTube. I, I really enjoy YouTube a lot. I enjoy watching content, and I love putting it up there. And I love teaching you guys. It's really fun, especially if you want to tackle this. You really want to try and make your own mask. Jump in, man. It does cost a little bit of money to get set up. But if you really want to do something like this, man, don't be afraid. And don't ever let anybody tell you you can't. There's only two words in my life I can't stand. And that's I can't. It's either I won't or I don't want to. Or I will. Can't. It just doesn't work for me. You know, can't can is something I don't I don't I don't believe in. Even if you don't have natural ability. Yeah, man, jump in. Jump in. I can tell you. All right, you see these tubs here? All right. They're about 30. This this is five pounds of, of monster clay. You get this at monster makers. You definitely need this. You got to get some tools. I have an overabundance of them. <coughs> um, carving tools. Uh, you need some. You need some monster clay. I prefer hard out of the three bases. There's there's soft, medium, and hard. I like hard because I like working with tools. Uh, that's the old woodworker in me. Uh, you want shapers. You need all kinds of shapers. I would recommend getting a crock pot to melt. A uh, to melt the clay. This plastic tub that this comes in. I'm sorry. I'm, I got to zoom back out. All right. This plastic tub that this comes in. All right. Uh, is heat resistant. It can be thrown right into the into the mold. All right. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a weird expression on the on the lips, it definitely does. So if you really want to get into this thing, you need a you need a um, an armature. All this is bought at Monster Makers. The clay, the armature, uh, you know, you need about twenty. I would say on the safe side. Yeah, a lot of it's lighting. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely lighting. Um, you need an armature. Uh, that's about 80 bucks. You know, but shipping could be 150, I don't know. But you need one of the crock pots. You need an armature. You need your clay. You need about 25 tubs, or five tubs of this, and that's about 25 pounds of this clay to really be on the safe side. I've got about a tub and a half left over for add-on, take-away, and then sometimes you get, you know, in the casting, when I start molding this, <laughs> I'm tired because I work, I, you know, but then again, on the other side of that coin, I felt like I've never worked a day in my life because I chose things that I really, really are passionate about. But when you do have a passion for something and you're perfectionist like I am, I am a perfectionist. I, it drives me crazy at times. It drives my wife's crazy. It drives my kids crazy. But I'm anal. I will go back and go back and go back and go back until I get it to where I feel like I can't improve it. And that goes for my music when I'm DJing. It goes for everything that I do. So when I, why I'm tired last night is because I worked that room. I really worked the room, worked the crowd. They stayed. They had a great time. I didn't get home till 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning, whatever time it was. Um, <clears throat> people danced. The band was done at 11 o'clock. They were done. They went on at 7 and they did three sets and they were done by 11 p.m. And from 11 p.m. until closing, 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning, I rocked it. Just kept, you know, they were dancing and dancing. We had to close. <clears throat> you know, it did weed out. Don't get me wrong. It starts weeding out. Because, I mean, I cater to an older crowd. Uh, happy hour, more or less. I'm 60 years old. I am old, so I don't want to be. So I play a lot of dance from back in the day, a lot of disco, funk, uh, some R&B, a little bit of rock and roll, not too much, just a splash of it. Um, uh, but 
you know, especially when you have a band, the band usually does a lot of classic rock and stuff. They'll always throw that, you know, they're always more a little bit on the rock edge. <coughs> and I don't want to copy what they're doing. So I know they're not going to go into a lot of dance music. So I go into the dance stuff. Um, anyway, that's that end of the business. And this is this end of the business. And, and, uh, I'm tired because it was a late night. Uh, I don't sleep more than six hours at the most, and I have to be really tired to do that. Most times I'm up after four hours of sleep. So the minute I got uh, up today, okay, so, okay, you guys are talking back and forth to each other, and I can't see the comments, so I didn't, I'm saying, I'm thinking you're talking to me. I'm sorry, you're not. Um, <coughs> I don't have the comments on my, I, I got the camera on on my phone right now, and I, it, it does the pop-up, but it doesn't, I'm not seeing everybody's comments. I'll, I'll look at the, the comments on the, on, the, on the computer once I get done doing my, my DVD download. Um, got to take care of that. Then I'll go to the comments, and I will... Uh, answer any questions that you guys may have put up there that I didn't see. Um, and answer anything in general that you guys want to ask me or talked about. Hello. Hey. Yo. But I'm going to say good night. I'm going to say uh, have a great evening, guys, and uh, peace. Love. Love you all. Thank you for uh, following me here. Uh, and I will see you in the next uh video and uh james joe thank you for uh staying on with me for so long thank you and uh i will hook you up james i will hook you up i will hook you up my friend all right i'll see you bye bye